Welcome back guys, how's everybody doing? I am home from my wedding and thank you very much guys for the support you've shown on the last couple of videos. Definitely got some comments, really do appreciate it. And let's get cracking on this episode we're working on right here. So last time we kind of started off in the tree farm which is just a little bit over there. So today what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to hollow it out some more and get it fully operational. I'd like to complete that project before I start getting anything bigger or <laughs> more pressing started. I know I've talked a little bit about some of the stuff that I want to get done, but I really do want to get that started and also get that completed um, so I don't have 10 different things on the go and not being able to finish any of the projects that I had actually wanted to get going. Anyway. So, the goal of the episode, or the goal of what we're going to be working on right now, is to peel all of this back. So, going across, and then we're going to go deep into the rock face there, and we're going to kill this guy. <laughs> and then we're going to plant probably 30 trees, thereabouts. I got 16 left, so we'll try to plant a bunch more. But uh, if I run out of trees, that's fine. I still want to build the space. And we're probably going to have to uh, build up some of this a little bit. But that's not a problem. Um, and then we'll kind of play it by year after that. I don't really know how long this is going to take me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some off-camera work right here. Try not to be sniped by a skeleton. I don't even know where that's coming from, uh, as per the usual. And we'll meet back once I got more of this taken out and we'll see what's what a short while later we are nearing completion of getting what I'm gonna call the potters down in the underground tree farm I haven't really got a good name for it just yet if someone in the comments wants to suggest a name I am more than happy in doing up a sign and it will be forever remembered as whatever the tree farm name <laughs> it is called so as you can see here I'm just clearing out the last little bit I got my polished granite I decided to use polished granite because I generally like the texture of it and uh, as a building material it's relatively plentiful Especially when you're hollowing out walls and you just run into a patch and it's got you know, 100 granite bits in it or so, give or take. Um, so as you can see currently right now, <laughs> currently and right now, ooh, that, lol, that we are 6 by 5, which means 30. So this is going to be growing primarily birch and oak trees. And over here, at near the end, I'm going to try to hollow a giant, oh boy, someone's angry. I'm going to try to hollow a large portion of that and put in the larger trees, but we haven't got that far yet, so that'll be probably a project for a future endeavor. Um, so things aren't really growing here just yet because the height or the, the, the sapling is registering a height that's not high enough, so I'm going to clear it out to about 10. I think 7's okay, um, I think, but I'm going to make sure and just go to 10. That way there are no issues and I can just keep growing and whatever. So uh, for the next cut that I'm going to make, um, I'm going to be hollowing out the top here, and then once one of these starts growing, then I'll realize that that's the... Uh, that's the temperature, not the temperature, that's the height that we need, and then we don't have to do any more. And, you know, we'll just, you know, I'll plant the rest of these, as many saplings as I do have, and then we will go farm some sand, because I'm going to make some sandstone, and then I'm going to layer the sandstone in the middle here. I have no idea how much you need, I'm probably going to bring back for four stacks. Uh, maybe a little bit more of the polished, and then add a ring around. So starting, like, let's say right here, and we're going to come around all the way to the back, across, and a, and a high, and a walking space. Maybe do it up double, 
and uh, yeah, that's kind of it. So right here is probably where I'm going to put the stairs. So I think two blocks out, and then we're going to loop it up and around it in, and then that's going to be my way to get up and in here. So when I come back, uh, we will have the roof cleared out, and hopefully we'll have a sapling growing. So I will catch you shortly. Super quick update as to the progress of the underground tree farm. As you can see, we are walking on leaves. Fantastic. So I switched from the birch saplings to the oak saplings as uh, I read that the oak saplings don't take nearly as much space as the birch ones. And we have found immediate success, which is fantastic. I have already farmed up almost a stack of wood while I've been harvesting and clearing it at the same time. I've gone through two unenchanted diamond picks, so some decent durability um, so far to clean out the current area. So, as you can see, we're up a little bit, and I got this chunk left to do. So, about a couple over and down, and then I just got to clean up the edge over here. Uh, one more block over. So hopefully these trees grow so I can stand on them, use them as some makeshift scaffolding up and over. Oh, we got some legs, sorry. <laughs> up and over and clear that out. And then after that, I'm going to tidy up the room a little bit. I got to put in the sandstone flooring because I keep bopping around. And then I'm going to torch up the walls at the moment so they don't look too, too scrubbish. And then I'm going to... Eventually stick some glowstone in to replace that just because I think it looks a little nicer. Maybe some sea stone. Because, um, again, I also like the look of that. Yeah, what else have I got done today? Oh, yeah. I even decided if I want to glass in all of this, I might bring it out one with some sandstone steps. And then glass up and then just tuck it all into here. Um, I have really not decided upon that just yet. I might leave it open. I might not. And maybe you guys can offer some suggestions as to what that is. Anyway, I'm going to check back in once I've got the rest of this area here cleaned and all ship shape. And then maybe I'm going to run a test on the brush to see if the brush will work. If not, um, at some point I will cut into the rock face again, but go down. I found a new cave system here, but go down and you have uh, like six pots for birch to grow in, maybe more. Maybe we'll do eight. And then we'll just plant the birch there. But I'm still planning on having uh, large jungle trees in this area. So kind of from like here over. And we'll have some kind of like swooping staircase up and into here. And then the larger trees right here. Anyway, thank you so very much. We'll be right back. After what felt like forever. <laughs> I have managed to get most of the tree farm completed actually. Uh, so I did indeed level out the ceiling enough to grow birch trees, which is fantastic. Only took three bone meal to get that tree up and going. So I can farm bone, um, I mean oak and oak for sure. Did I say oak twice? Birch and oak. Man, I can even get my trees right. Uh, and then I put in the middle flooring. Uh, when I do get glowstone, I'm probably going to replace the nodes here with glowstone, and then the other nodes will be right here. So the, the light sources will be better, and we'll also cut down on the amount of torches I'm using, which should improve performance issues as the cave system becomes larger, the world becomes larger, and the need for my computer to generate graphics uh, becomes greater. Other than that, I'm very, very pleased with how this has turned out. It was a really good learning experience. Um, I certainly know how to get the next portion of this farm done. I don't really know when I'm going to work on it just yet. <clears throat> um, possibly between the next episode, so this is episode 5, episode 6, I'm going to have this stuff cleaned up. So this is going to be done up with the sandstone right up in my hands. i got enough to do it, I believe. And if not, i got a pretty close place to go and do it. And I'm also going to pull it out and build in some kind of storage system right underneath this. I'm trying to be maximize the space. So I'll show you a little bit about what I mean and what I'm going to do. So I've been able to farm up quite a bit of iron while I'm doing this process, which is really good. 
I think I got almost two stacks, which means I can get some some pistons going. So the curtain's gonna come out at least one more, potentially three. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build like two kind of entrance pillars into one room, which will be right underneath this. And I'm going to build some kind of shutter system. So I'll flip a switch or have a pressure plate or something like that. And it'll be like boom like space doors and my chest will be open and available for use um, I mean of course I'm eventually gonna build some kind of item sorter or like silo stack but in the meantime this is kind of what I'm gonna do it's gonna look really nice and it's gonna make more use of this space and certainly allow me to bring the curtain of the tree farm out a little bit which will then allow me to uh, texture it up um, so it doesn't look just so plain as well, I'm going to be putting in glass. I think I've decided that's that's the case. Uh, I don't think I can get back up into the farm yet. <laughs> nope. i got to build a staircase. That's cool. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to put some glass in it and just glass it to the ceiling. Make it look, you know, nice and presentable. And again, maybe you have some kind of texture so that I, it doesn't look so plain and so, so faceless almost. But I'm also trying to keep enough of the cave structure so it's kind of like a bad guy pirate cave <laughs> where you don't want to do too much rock hewing, but you still want to keep the allure of being in an underground lair. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for watching this episode. I certainly appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, if you have any likes, comments, suggestions, there's definitely the comments section below. And if you really do like this video, smash that thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Thanks, guys. I'll check you in the next video.